Well, there's my Honda Civic. Me, personally, I want to get it turned around in the garage. I don't know why I started putting it in nose first. But I've got a pretty good cleaned up garage here. So I want to back it into that spot. This spot here is reserved for the lawnmower and things that we place on top of it. <sighs> I don't know why. I never have enough room. Look at all of my cleaners. And, uh, wow. Look at this. It's just, just piles of them here. Yeah, I'll be bringing you more of those come summer, too, because I still have quite a few to review. But, yeah, my Honda here. And, uh, don't even look at this side. Oh, I gotta clean up this garage more. This is terrible. But, I have been doing some work. Uh, my generator. A good old Furman starts every pull. Yeah, but, I have been doing some cleaning up in here and getting my tools all set. I put up some of these magnet things so I can, you know, I can finally put my wrenches up and have them out of the way out of the drawers oh look at this mess i this is a work in progress so hopefully the time i start working on vehicles in here i'll have it all cleaned up and be ready to go oh my tons of sockets down there i have a socket in my pocket don't i um, maybe i don't i thought i did uh, oh there it is right uh, let's see my eight mil long socket goes right there neat trays picked them up at uh, princess auto so now i'm actually going to have trays to tell me what sockets and what sizes i have well, i don't have all the big sizes but i do have all of the ones i usually use so not too bad and uh, this used to be the tray I kept all my sockets in. Uh, didn't do a great job, by the way. Oh, this thing hold this. Oh, yeah, it holds my heavier wrenches. That's an 18 mil. Neat. Okay. This will be awesome. This is this is going to set life up better for me in the garage. Plus, then the wife won't yell at me so much when she's trying to find a tool. So I keep all of my stuff here. Uh, I got two toolboxes, of course. Eh, why don't I just buy one giant toolbox to fit everything into? Eh, you know, why? I got two. Two good toolboxes. Why buy another one? Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I also have a couple of things here I'm going to do on this board. So, I, I got to get all this fixed up. That's all I can say. But today, we are going to take a look at the Honda... And I am going to give her a few checks over, before I start it, to turn it around. So let me get the hood open. So there we are. There's the engine. Uh, 2.0. Of course, Earth Dream, Earth Dreams technology. Uh, not the turbo. I didn't want the turbo. Of course, whoever says that? No, I don't want the turbo. I did it because I was cheap. Just to say. I'm a cheap guy. So... I did it to have the base engine in it. Says to have 158 horsepower. Good enough for me. It does get up and go with the few mods I did do to the car. So, muffler delete. So, I did do that. And uh, nothing much more. Weight reduction. That's the key. Weight reduction. But here. I'm going to plug in the negative. There we go. That's in. There we go. But first, I want to check the oil. So, let me get a rag. Okay, I got you set up on the stand here now. Um, I honestly don't drive this car a whole lot. Uh, oil does seem cleanish, but dirty. So... First thing I do, check the oil, make sure it's actually got oil in it, and it looked like it did. Uh, yeah, she's full. Hopefully you can see that. She's full. So I'm going to pop that back in there. 
I will be doing an oil change on this before I start driving it this spring. Uh, what else do I do? I check the coolant level. So, just to make sure it hasn't blown a seal or anything anywhere, I check to see that there's actual coolant in it. Yes, there is. She is still full of coolant. And by the way, this is a 2018, if I haven't mentioned it. Honda Civic LX Coupe. And with the six-speed manual, that does get this thing up and going very nicely. Uh, put these uh, covers on last year. I love them. Really cleans up the engine bay. Like, wow. It used to be all open here. It was kind of crazy. It's all open. And you can see right down into the fenders there. I never liked that. These covers actually did a great job. They covered up everything there. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, what else do I have to check? Belt is still like brand new. Oh, man, this car is like, what, 20? I don't know, it's like six years old almost. And I, the mileage is not a whole lot on it. Just don't have fun time. I, uh, times, I just don't have... Well, during COVID, I didn't drive it hardly at all. Uh, just drove my normal vehicles then. Okay. As you can see, the intake is in the back. Everything is clean. That proves how much I don't drive this car. So, air cleaner... Uh, it's got a can in. I'm not going to worry about it. I just did that last year. So, air cleaner is probably very fine. Uh, and, uh, uh, not much else there. Okay. So, as you see, as it probably says there, uh, it says to start engine fully depressed brake plus clutch plus turn the key. So, yes. Oh, it smells nice in here. I put an air freshener in here about a week ago. Oh, hey. uh, scented can. So it's a scented can. Uh, nice interior. I uh, don't really like my seat covers, but I had to put them on because I'm a dirty kind of guy when I go to work, and I didn't want to get the original seats dirty. Ah, my back seat is not in. Right. Where is that? Oh, there it is over there. I took that out. I can't remember why. I was doing something. I can't remember why I took that out. Uh, I'm going to have to put it back in. And an old bill. I'll hold on to that and see what it's all about. But uh, I'm going to set you up behind the car for the first start of the season. So there we are. Back of the car. My dual exhaust outlet there. So fake. I'm going to take that off and get rid of it. It's terrible looking. And I'm going to start her up for the first time of the season. It's not that cold out. I think it's only minus five. say she sounds pretty good but uh, it's actually coming out the dual snorkels wow isn't that something uh, maybe I'll leave it on how many people can tell that's fake uh, probably quite a few <laughs> but yeah it's running it sounds good so uh, sounds really good and the other thing that, when I started it, I was kind of like, okay, something, when it started, the car shook quite a bit. And that's because I changed the rear, rear transmission mount, engine mount, to a solid mount. <laughs> and uh, uh, 
that was pretty well. I'm gonna have to get through this snow. I don't want to get it stuck, but I don't know, it's like six inches. Eh, I think I can get her in, backed in. We'll have to see. But yeah, she does sound pretty good. I do like the way it sounds. And two liter, eh, not too bad. When you cut the muffler off. But yes, uh, let me get her backed in and hopefully I'll do more. So as you can hear, this car does sound pretty quiet at idle, which is nice. But when you step on her, she opens up. Oh yeah, I never forgot to tell you, I installed and painted this wing with the uh, Honda paint. I think I did a great job. And it's not an out of place wing, because these are the types of wings that fit on the Coupe SI. So I think it looks great on this car. Yeah, did I go rice? Maybe a little bit, but at least it's not three feet in the air. And uh, when you do run her up, she does sound rather good. And then it gets quiet. Oh, she sounds good. But I think that'll do her for now. I'm not going to do anything else out here since we're going through this crazy. Oh, supposed to be a snowstorm but that is ending up not to be such a snowstorm I was planning on bringing some shorts of that but I don't think that's happening but look forward to more videos on Hondas and every other type of vehicle I own this year especially my truck I got quite a few parts for my truck that I'm going to be putting up in the spring and summer and uh, yeah so there's lots of stuff to come on my channel so thanks for watching